Welcome to Codingville. Codingville.ca is a free coding platform that provides coding concepts through a game-based approach in both text-based and block-based languages. It is inclusive of learning journeys and real-world application projects where a user is building a game or an app. It is a platform that is made for students, teachers, and individuals interested in gaining understanding of the basics of coding. It can easily be used in the classroom or when transitioning to distributive learning. I will be walking you through some of the main features available through this platform, so feel free to follow along. So let's get you logged in to Codingville. Here, you can either set up a new account if you haven't done so already, or log in with your existing account. Great. Now that you are logged in, you can see on the left-hand side of the screen several menu options. We will be going through each one and discussing how to use it and its main features. Starting with the dashboard, in this tab you can track both student and group progress, who are the leading students, the number of journeys that have been assigned, and the breakdown of the classroom groups created. Our screen looks empty right now, but it will fill in when the students have logged in. Moving on to Classrooms tab. Here you can create the classroom or group that you are working with. Let's do that together by clicking Create Classroom. You're going to name your classroom and choose the appropriate grade level. Once your class is created, then you can assign it journeys, look at the particular class projects that have been created, and additionally here, you have the ability to track the progress of students. You can see details of the number of times it took a student to complete a mission and their overall progress through the assigned journey. When adding students to your class, you have three different options. Sharing your class code, which is unique to each of your classes, adding a single student, or using a CSV file to upload your class list. When teaching remotely, you can either provide students with their preset logins made by you or simply the class code. If you choose to just provide their class code, then when logging in for the first time, all your students have to do is go to codingville.ca, sign up, and create a student account linking it to your specific classroom code. Now let's explore the Journeys tab. Within Codingville, we have Journeys. Currently, Codingville offers three journeys. The first, titled Coding Using Blocks, is game-based and utilizes Blockly. It is appropriate for grades one and up. The second is titled From Blocks to JavaScript. It also is game-based and utilizes block coding, but has a converting option to see how the code translates into JavaScript. And the third one is titled Junior App Development. It takes a practice-based approach to learning text-based coding and teaches HTML, CSS, and JavaScript while progressively working through building an app while learning the coding concepts. There are two options that can be assigned to students, these main journeys that I have just gone through and skill practice journeys. You can utilize these skill practice journeys when a student is stuck on a particular concept and needs extra practice. To start with our class, let's go back to the main journeys and preview one to see if we want to assign it. First, I click on info and then press try. As you can see, our journey is made up of eight different adventures, each with their own amount of missions to complete and then finally ending with the project that the student is to build a game. If I click into one of these adventures, I can see my game board. Now going back, if I really enjoy this journey after previewing it, I can assign it to my class by clicking assign, selecting the class I want it to apply to, and that's all it is. Now moving into projects. This section allows you to practice project concepts yourself so you can build one out that your students could play. 
You can choose from building a game or an app. In the Discover tab, you can further track your students' progress in more detail and view the badges that they have earned as they're going through their journeys. Students can receive badges for anything from completing the missions with no mistakes, to encouraging other projects and work, and from creating their own games and apps. You can use this feature to motivate your learner as they work through their missions. You can also see the library of projects your students have worked on. And finally, the last tab. For further support, we have developed a training manual where you can find resources such as lesson plans, unplugged activities, help for videos, and content understanding, all to be found in the training section here. To wrap things up, some helpful tips to share with your students is to adopt a growth mindset and that practice makes perfect. There are various languages used in coding, each with their own specifications that can best be learned through practice and application. And some helpful tips for you as a teacher is to take it one day at a time. When doing distributed learning, Codingville provides that practice-based platform to introduce the coding mindset and unplugged resources that are helpful to introduce concepts and can be coordinated to do at home with a parent or caregiver. These journeys and projects are not sequential, and there's a ton of flexibility in the platform as far as what you want your students to focus on. And finally, you don't need to be an expert yourself. Coding can be quite a learning curve, so don't be afraid to learn alongside your students. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at codingville.ca, and we would be happy to help set you up. Thank you again, and have a great day.